What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. And we are last week's album. Back again this week with another album review. And uh, we will start things off like we always do, drinking a beer. Cheers, Derek. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, everyone out. And let's get right to it. This week we're talking about an album called Water Liars by a band called Water Liars, another self-titled album, uh, just like last week, uh, except this week the band hails from Oxford, Mississippi. They are a former duo turned trio. Uh, Justin Kinkle Schuster on guitar and vocals, Andrew Bryant on drums and backing vocals, and the latest edition, Gia Robinson on bass. And this Water Liars is their third LP. So let's talk about what it sounds like. Derek, what do you think? Kevin, I just want to preface this with, I think this was the hardest band to come up with a sounds like ever, so here it goes. I think Water, Water Liars sounds like blues, rock, and Americana, telling road-weary stories, at times as poetic as Dylan, and other times as violent as the insane clown posse. <laughs> I would have never guessed that second reference, Bob Dylan. I can see, and I see what you mean with ICP, but I never would have guessed it. That was a stretch, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, but I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, for my sounds like Derek, I'm saying this sounds like Hank Williams puts on his My Morning Jacket, steals a band of horses, and falls hard for Ryan Adams' Heartbreaker. <laughs> nice, nice. I like it. I, I had a few of those kind of my mind, but I was like, go ICP or go home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes when the opportunity is there, because it's very... Most often than not, is not. You have to go for it. Good call, Derek. Um, all right, let's get into key tracks. I've got Cannibal and Swananoa. What do you got, Derek? Kevin, I got I Want Blood and Last Escape. All right. Uh, well, I'll kick us off because I believe Cannibal is the uh, lead track on the album. I dug it because it comes right in, bashing in with guitar, bass, and drums all in unison, these weary, melodic vocals. Reverb, staccato guitar, some pounding percussion. Uh, really good introduction to the lyrics. Uh, do you bruise every fruit that may come into your hand? Does it feel good? Does it feel sweet to let their juice run down your chin? I think he's telling off the cannibal. It sounds a little embittered, but uh, it is dark, deep, and raw sound-wise, and it proves that Water Liars aren't lying about shit. It is an honest track right off the bat. So, Derek, what did you like about I Want Blood? I Want Blood starts off with just this amazing, determined, driving beat led by drums and guitars. Just The lyrics are fantastic here. One that just captured my attention immediately. Strange lands hold no fear for me. Um, I just thought that sounded great along with just the you know, assertiveness uh, that accompanied the overall sound. Um, and the intensi intensity just really built as the song uh, continued. Early on, the, the chorus um, where they just repeat, I want blood, um, is done almost a cappella, just very minimal acoustic, uh, musical backing. However, as the song builds, one of the last uh, choruses, um, I want blood, is shouted over a full, bound, a full band, uh, louder guitars. Um, it sh I thought it was a great example of them taking one melody and just shaping it into and letting it morph and just uh, blossom into a f just huge sound towards the end. Yeah, um, that was one of my uh, favorite tracks, if not key tracks as well. And guys at home, don't worry. Uh, after Cannibal and I Want Blood, this is not a zombie band. Uh, we'll switch gears here with Swananoa, which is one of their um, softer tunes, if you will. It's this soft, somber shuffle of a waltz, uh, guitar and soft bass drum at the opening. And uh, the opening line is, woke up in Houston in somebody's kitchen. The ceiling was sweating and I was afloat on a dirty brown river of heroin shivers waiting on someone to send me a boat. Jeez, if that's not Hank Williams meets Ryan Adams, I don't know what it is. Uh, you also later get some thumping bass, subtle piano flourishes, and lyric-wise, I think it's the best song on the album, the story of characters who all lack faith in different ways. And like Derek mentioned on I Want Blood, you hear a different line repeated a lot, I don't believe, uh, sort of tying this song together melodically and lyrically. So, Derek, your next key track. Uh, Kevin, you know, my next key track here, Last Escape, you mentioned um, kind of them having a heavier sound and a lighter sound. I thought this song kind of encapsulated both. Um, 
through its kind of unorthodox song, song structure, if you will. Uh, at the beginning, it's just this really kind of sleepy uh, guitar riff uh, and a legato or elongated vocal melody where he's kind of uh, talking about a, a former lover, if you will. One, a, a lyric right off the bat that really captured my attention, your eyes are the bluest of gray. So just kind of give you a feel for what he, where he's coming from. Um, as the song builds, one of the last lyrics in this first part I'm kind of talking about, um, he says, now love's taking me away, songs, songs are the last to escape, a song's keeping me awake, the song's in my heart to break. And from this kind of morose, um, sad type feeling, it transforms into this just raucous, uh, sonic freakout towards the end, characterized by screeching guitars, just thunderous bass snare drums, crashing cymbals, and this really just went the complete opposite direction where I thought it was going, which I really enjoyed. And in retrospect, you know, maybe the end of a relationship, of a relationship should be viewed as a new beginning, as the song kind of implies. So all overall, just fantastic song, structurally, lyrically, sonically. Yeah, Derek, that banging crash ending there was one of my favorite points on the album. And the song, to me, if you reversed it, it sounds like Wilco's uh, Misunderstood, where it starts out all banging and gets really soft. Um, but in a different way here. And you're right, it does encapsulate both ends of their sound. So... Best lyrics. What do you say, Derek? Oh, man. Um, there were a ton to choose from, as you can probably gather from what we've been saying here. But I'm going to go with uh, one from Tolling Bells. Uh, Swimming like a drowning man, trying like the dying can. Um, just really raw, dark, and just a lot there in a few words. Yeah. Uh, my best lyric, Derek, is from I Want Blood, Your uh, one of your key tracks. It goes... My sisters were the heavens, my brothers were the depths. Now I'm rolling into battle with a smoke between my lips. And that, for me, is just this fearless underdog marching into battle like a badass. So I really, really dug that line. So overall rating, Megan, you go first, Derek. What do you got? Kevin, I'm, I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. I thought their sound was, you know, it, it kind of... I collected from a lot of, you know, your classical Americana, uh, blues, rock type sounds, but they really mesh it together well. I thought, uh, you know, they, as we've been mentioning, you know, they can really do a soft sound and the, you know, heavy, fast songs, and they all sound right in their wheelhouse. Nothing sounds out of place. I thought the lyrics were just fantastic. Um, I was really blown away by this, um, and I'm not biased by the fact that I used to live in Wyoming, which is also the name of their previous album, so a lot of good things, really digging the water wires. All right, Derek, we're agreeing, again, just like last week, I'm going five out of five. I think that makes this our first five out of five for the year. Uh, I dug it for its brutally honest poetic lyrics, not afraid to go dark or lonely or graphic. Um, awesome at straddling both the acoustic and electric sounds, similar to what Derek was saying, and they know how to create just the right feel and just the right mixture of those sounds for each vibe and each track to set it apart. And uh, overall, just a great mix of emotion, mostly deep, but occasional bursts of hopeful energy. So there you have it, guys. Like I said, our first agreement, at least, on 5 out of 5. I think it might be the first 5 out of 5 for both of us for this year when I looked back. Um, I am very much digging this album. I think I'm going to continue to do so. So, check it out. Water Liars by Water Liars. Uh, as always, I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. And we are last week's album. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, and you can find us on the internet on pretty much any network. So, we'll see you again next week with another album review. Last week's music, last week's album, talking about good music. There, guys. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>